All right, so how y'all doing boys? Hope you're doing well today. Today we are finally going to be tackling the new season, I believe it's season five of Tower of Trials. Now, rewards here looking pretty nice. You're just your usual typical rewards. I mean, I do believe this is a rerun. I do, I believe I remember already fighting the Star Trials before and him having some passive where you can't use demons or something. I believe all of these, you know, actual stages have like, you know, you can't use a certain race on each one, but here we go. I mean, we are going to be tackling with, you know, the team that can apparently just beat any content in this game now. The Purga 3 Fallen team now. Super excited to get into it. I usually leave these until fairly late, but I figured why not? We'll get out of the way now and let's jump right into it. Here we go. Getting into this first stage now. I'm going to do this as I do, you know, my usual tab trial videos. Um, we'll talk about some things, you know, in the first couple of matches. Maybe in some of, like, the later stages as well. But I'm going to discuss some things that are mainly just going to be showing off, like, the main boss fights of the tower but i mean like i said we're gonna talk about some stuff so um not really an awful lot to talk about i mean this week we are it was meant to be a dead week which is super great that we have content means we could be possibly catching up the jp um the final boss molesky molesky derriere and on speed i've been running that heaps and heaps at the moment and just getting that perfect run just seems so so impossible like I believe at the moment I'm in like the top 2% or 2.6% or something. And so close, so many times. And either the Derry survived, like just barely survives on that final phase, or just like getting those four stance cards from Arthur can seem so impossible sometimes. Like, and even starting off with an extra nameless dance, I feel like has only happened to me like twice. And I've I've almost bought out the entire shot. Like I've heard heaps of people on Twitter and whatnot just saying like you know, they've never done so many attempts of, like, a final boss and, you know, not gotten a run they're happy with. Now, I mean, I do still have a little while of running that to, you know, until I'm finished the shop. And if I don't end up getting, you know, that perfect run before I finish the shop, I think I'll just leave it. I mean, as long as I'm in, like, the top, I think it's 10% is the highest bracket where you get, like, the anvils and the... <clears throat> um, the anvils and the UR stones, I believe you get 20... Uh, hammers and 10 UR stones, not an awful lot, but I mean, I still want to get it, but I mean, everyone should be shooting for that, you know, Molesco. I've had heaps of people actually DM me about how they're going with the final boss and how their barn sons have been going. Um, you guys have been getting a lot luckier, or around as lucky as I am, which I'm glad to see some of you have been getting luckier, but I mean, besides that, um, you know, we have got the Kimara and Malik boss redrop. Um, we'll be doing a tutorial on that probably. Probably soon, in the next one or two videos, I can imagine. Um, it's been absolutely ages, and I haven't even done any attempts of it. Well, I just chucked a barn team on, and you know, uh, just to get like the costume in order so I could actually, you know, upgrade it for the barn. I'm talking about the the Mangle one with the cool card out, but yeah, it's been absolutely ages. And I will do a bit of team. I'll probably try and do just like a super free to play friendly team. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're beating those bosses a turn or two faster. It's no stress really, but I mean. You definitely get enough like rewards and stuff that even if you miss out on days, you know, you can definitely gather it. It's the same with the crocodile boss, which I didn't end up making like a guide on how to just because there was so many. Like it was so so high in demand and I was so late to it that it was kind of just like, eh, whatever, we'll leave it. But <clears throat> yeah, no, there's that. Um, anything else that's popped up this week? Uh, I did my Green More PVP showcase and for people saying he was meant to be the best team. I really just need to see. Maybe it's because I don't have the 6 6 Perga 3 barn, and rushing that ult isn't like a be all end all strategy for me, but yeah, no. My personal preference has to go to the Red East, and I'm really, really thinking about building uh, UR gear up Red East, and I mean, well, for Eastern, I should say. Um, Yeah, no, I. The next unit we're probably going to have is going to be the Hawk and Oslo that they just had on JP, and then after that. um. Not honestly even sure I'm going to summon on that Hawk and Oz, I might just save, but I will be summoning on Sigurd, who's next when we have the whole uh, Ragnarok stuff drop. I will be UR gearing him as well, and obviously I already have UR gear for Meliodas, which is so nice, the fact that, like, you can just change UR gear between characters, like, they implemented it so, so well. The thing back when I, like, originally played on JP, you had to spend gold to take gear off character. Oh, how far this game has come. And... If anyone says otherwise, they're wrong, but definitely the best archer out there. <clears throat> and I mean, we should be getting up to our first boss fight 
pretty soon here. I mean, yeah, here we go, Gila. Um, let's quickly have a look and see what I was talking about earlier. Is right. Uh, increase base this. Oh, okay, that's really nice. Um, nothing crazy. Okay, I mean, we'll jump into. It. I have plenty of HP, but I don't really you know, worry about wasting it on these earlier stages. But um, hoping you guys are, you know, able to get through this tower as well. I mean. If, you know, it turns out a couple of you guys are struggling, I will make a guide, or like, even if you need to, just DM me and I'll, I'm more than happy to help, but here we go, Gila and Jericho. Also, you guys notice how many nameless dance cards we've gotten in some of these earlier fights? Chuck me into the final boss. This would not be happening. <clears throat> here we go, typical starting hand here. Um, one thing I'd just like to talk about is how little Tarmiel, oh gosh. It's gonna go pretty quick. Um, how little time meals I've, you know, got. It's really sad to see, you know, Arthur have he struggles with time meals in association. There we go, first boss stage beaten. And um one thing I'd like to talk about as well is we'll be ordering the new PC fairly soon, um, probably within the next week or two, so very excited for that. If you guys would like um for me to actually do a video, maybe just showcasing the setup even, but Mainly just looking at the new PC, um, I'd be more than happy to. I'll definitely drop the specs and stuff uh, in the description, you know, when that arrives. But what else? Um, Heaps of appreciation on the channel. We've been growing quite a bit, which super happy to see. I'm super happy to see that you guys have been liking the content I put out. I mean, it's for you. That's why I do it. So anything. I mean, and once again, if you guys have any suggestions on teams or anything you'd like to see, leave that down below. Um, I've got a couple more video ideas in mind that I'd like to do, but... I would like to start getting back to making guides. I did make like a gear guide part one. I do plan on making part two to that. It will be a lot shorter. I'm mainly just gonna be running over like UR gear and just min maxing stuff, how you should just assort your like stuff. But here we go. I mean, probably an awful lot more I wanna talk about in these early stages. I think I might just skip on and show you guys some of the boss fights and some of the nice rewards we can get. Okay, and here we go on to stage 10 now. Half the reason I don't actually show all these matches is mainly because it'd be a really long video, like, not super long, like, I would definitely, like, it'd be different if I was, like, you know, streaming and you guys were here and we could interact and stuff, but I just don't feel like it's really, like, the most interesting content to just see me, you know, auto a bunch of, like, farming level, like, stages, like, they're definitely nothing, like, nothing super difficult, and, like, neither of these ones, but I mean... To some players, these might be difficult, and if, you know, it does turn out they're difficult, then, you know, it's a surprise. I'd definitely like to have, like, the first reactions on camera, so. <clears throat> Here we go, getting to this house one, I could imagine, yeah. Side units are actually taking on the main ones, okay. Um, ch -ch -ch. God damn, I mean, you know what is really nice? Um, when this Sigurd banner actually comes, I believe it's only 600 to actually, like, you get to choose between the Meliodas and the Sigurd, um. I'm not too big a fan of the blue, like, I really like the blue Lost Fans costume, honestly. All of the, like, uh, gosh, how have I forgotten the name? All of the Ragnarok costumes are so, so amazing, like, King, everyone. The only costume I would say is, like, I, has anything bad about it at all is King's one. Is I actually like King's costume, it's more just the beanie on it. They didn't have the beanie in the trailer, and I thought it looked so, so much better, but... There we go, I mean, how's the stage? Wasn't very difficult, and... Let's get on to stage 15. And here we go, stage 15. Now, this is actually my second time attempting stage uh, stage 15 because um, blue stacks crashed. Now, um, one thing, I thought this had honestly happened quite a while earlier. I mean, I don't actually think it's happened to many other mobile games, but wondering if we'll ever get like, you know, a PC port. Like the only real mobile game I can even think of, and that's cause there's ads of it absolutely everywhere is Raid Shadow Legends. Like that's just everywhere everyone knows there's i don't even know anyone who actually plays or has even played raid shadow legends but it's massive but yeah um i would really like seven deadly to get like a pc port especially where you know <clears throat> like the game still looks nice and it still runs well but it being an emulator you know it's bound to have crashes happen and stuff it's not going to run perfectly it never will but <clears throat> um you know i'm just surprised especially because like I believe somewhere in the game's like files, there is this, you know, like layout for like a landscape format. Like it's here and like it works and stuff, but you know, when you're playing on your phone or your iPad, I don't believe, I've never played Grand Cross on iPad, but I don't believe there's any way to actually, you know, 
choose landscape and actually play like this. I mean, it would be really nice, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I doubt it, but... Ooh, Hendrickson actually has revive as well. I thought this stage was going to be done, but... Yeah, no, I mean, and other than that, um, going through, st uh, you know, these stages here, um, the fact that they give out, uh, the cosmetic upgrades need to be so much more easily accessible, like, they are so, so difficult to get, and for someone like, if you're a person who wants to build multiple characters, especially using them in PvP, it is, like, almost essential that you have at least some of their costumes max, like, it takes so much more to max out a character nowadays than it does to when, like, green Escanor dropped, like, before you didn't even, like, before, like, you know, um, you are and stuff, you could just chuck your on any character and just play, like, any team you liked, as long as they were, like, level 70 or whatever the level cap was at the time, which was good, but I also really liked the amount of investment you have to put into characters. I mean, just, like, looking at, like, a max style, you know, account on 7 Deadly just looks gorgeous. And here we go, 300 anvils later, and we are at floor 20. Almost done the tower, and we got one more boss fight to go, but, um, I've heard heaps of people have been struggling with... Floor 23, but more so floor 24. We'll have to see what it's like when we go up there. I might actually record the final, you know, 23, 24, and 25, but let's see here. Um, start this thing, which is nice. Probably won't do that for much longer, but... <clears throat> um, a hot topic probably about a month ago was, you know, this My Hero... What was it? One's Justice, or... I think that might be the PS4 game, but... Um, taking over the Seven Deadly and Seven Deadly Dying, um... This will probably be the last time I actually talk about the game, but we did fine. We survived, and goddamn, this boss fight is a lot harder than the last one. I'm not actually, actually, you know, think about this one, but <clears throat> I'm sure it's nothing you know about all can't handle. Ooh, a counter. Okay. Oh, actually, is this the one that applies corrosion on us? I think I remember this. Do I care enough to read the cards? Mm, probably not. Oh, goddamn. You see, I'd never get this kind of luck in a final boss. Um, one, two, and three. <clears throat> Let's see, yeah, I don't think this actually damages us. Well, I mean, I at least hope not. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, look, we're fine, we're fine. Um, okay, um, hoping Bond can actually just one-tap here, get some mad damage. <clears throat> On actually one of the stages earlier, hit, like, over a million. It's nothing crazy, but, like, still, I was like, whoa, all those popping off. <clears throat> Um, let's see, I mean, I could see this, like, potentially being difficult, especially because that corrosion could actually stack up quite a bit, but... There we go, I can imagine this will just about round it up. I mean, I'm surprised none of these stages actually have debuff immunity. Most, like, difficult stages and stuff, you know, are fairly, like, resistant to these. And, oh, why'd you have to go for him, here? Oh, well, that's alright. That's honestly a super sick in, in, like, animation. Um, I don't think the Denzel we have now, like, the actual summonable one has like any counters or anything. I actually haven't used them in all honesty, but um, we are taking a bit of damage in saying that we aren't really playing the safest. I'd like us to get some of these Kiro cards removed, but um, yeah, honestly, nothing too crazy. I mean, I could imagine this these last five stages are where it's gonna really turn up in difficulty and oh my God, they got fully revived. Okay, um, uh, this might actually, okay. <clears throat> I mean, at least the Ignite stay that is a plus. Should I have read what their abilities are? Probably. Gosh, why does that do no damage? Oh, da damn. Okay, calm down. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. I mean, I'm really hoping we do get more activities like this. I mean, they have spoken in, like, previous JP livestreams. Oh, card removal is so, so annoying. Um, about, you know, giving us more content and stuff, but I'm really hoping they do more content based on the Ragnarok stuff. Like, if we can get, like, a tat, like, a, just a specific, you know, like, um, <clears throat> a, you know, Tower of Trials for the Ragnarok characters, or maybe even have it, like, a, uh, like, a pyramid kind of tower where, like, you can go up and, like, maybe it's just certain stages you go on and stuff. I mean, there's so much room for the PvE content, and why are we just doing no damage? I might actually leave this and come back and see what I've been doing wrong, because this is, we're just not getting anywhere. Here we go, jumping into this, we did swap the Keo out there, and all, um, main reason being is Den one of Denzel's passives is if, you know, every time a debuff gets removed, he gets 50% of his health back, so Keo was definitely not doing us any good there, but, um, we'll turn off auto as well, but, um, main reason auto was actually on there is, for some reason, I don't know if it's like a blue stacks thing, or like a, like, seven deadly thing, but, as of, like, the most recent, like, uh, probably about a week, I've heard other people have been having the problem as well, but, 
Bluestacks has been crashing like crazy, like before I'd never really had it crash, like <clears throat> maybe like when I first originally downloaded and I was just like setting up everything, it would crash quite a bit. But at the moment, like I have fairly good things. Like I can easily run everything on Bluestacks. It's just like I was saying before, it's an emulator, you know, you're not going to get perfect quality and we should be able to kill Denzel almost right off the bat here. I'm sure death case won't be much of a problem, but I mean, the fact that you see like we can just change this team up and like to something that suits the stage more and just easily get through it like this is so great because back in the day, you know, if you got up to the boss fight and you didn't have a team built for it, you were going back five and restarting with a better team, but there we go. I mean, yeah, we're doing so, so much better this attempt. <clears throat> but yeah, um, even if like we don't get a, you know, PC port, the blue stacks to fix itself would be nice, but... Here we go, we'll kind of throw out these cards here and we should be done with this stage and onto 23, 24 and 25. Good crit from Eskimo there. And here we go, stage 23 now. 20 hammers from that last stage is absolutely amazing and I believe from the whole tower, I believe, quote me if I'm wrong, but it's 55 or 65 gems, which is really, really nice. I mean, <clears throat> most people should be able to get this far, I mean... Here we go. I mean, apparently this stage is meant to be difficult, so we'll see how it goes. Last one did actually take a while to auto, I noticed, but there we go. Um, <clears throat> You know, most people should be able to get this far. Um, Let's see, what do we have here? Really good start hand. We'll see, let's see if we can actually just straight up one turn this. <laughs> turn all that difficulty into just an easy one turn. Watch this. Oh, yeah, nowhere near, but... <clears throat> um, One thing I have found is I'm running out of barn teams to showcase. It's quite sad, so we're gonna do the opposite of showcase barn and any like, you know, uh, PVP show, I reckon the next, I have two ideas for the next PVP showcases. Um, One of them I'm really excited to, and the other one, I haven't actually used the unit in PVP at all. I originally built UR gear from way, way back, but yeah, like I said, just never really got around. By the time he'd like come out on global, the idea of using him was, I was less keen on it, but look at that, 500,000, oh damn. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, there are some really good counters to Barn, but just, yeah, it is insanely hard. So many teams just get absolutely, like, nullified by the fact he exists, but here we go. I'm super excited to see what, like, other units they bring out, because as of Barn releasing, you know, we've had the Hawk and Oslo, which is nowhere near Barn's power level, and we've had the Sigurd, who is definitely good he's definitely like a top 10 top 15 character but is once again nowhere near barnes level in pv or pvp he i actually haven't seen an awful lot of him i'm kind of saving you know first reactions and whatnot for like my summoning and first pvp showcase but apparently he's a crit god which is what we like to see hopefully i can do a video with him on the dose seal from the days when you could run all the dose seal and bring gotha with just anyone and just absolutely classic pvp it's a shame that OCL's CC is so, so bad with this Super Awakening 5. If he, as long as he gets fixed with like the final Super Awakening update, I'll be happy. But at the moment, most matches you run into with like people with 300,000 CC, you can only really like, there's no chance you like out CCing the Goddess Liz or like, you know, you're lucky to get one person, but honestly, not too bad down with the barn there. I can imagine, yeah, they'll have the revive. <clears throat> now, if I'm correct, this is stage four, uh, 24, so this is the hard one. Um, Honestly, the hardest stage 24 we have ever had, and I remember it so, so vividly, because I remember watching people struggle, like, people who spent money on the game when I was free to play it at the same time, like, struggle with it, and it was just overall, like, just, it took so, so much luck, because it delete like, there was so much card deletion and just, like, other gimmicks in the stage, but uh, I think it was season, it was one, two, or three, we had, like, this, this crocodile boss with two other mini ones on the side, and, oh, God, it was just a nightmare, but... Anyways, I'm not actually sure if I beated that one. I mean, by the time I got my Esterosa built up, usually most of these Towers of Trials, you can just clap with Esterosa. Esterosa is such a good PvE unit. And I mean, it was either that or you could use Derriere for some of the bosses. But at the same time, back in the day, you couldn't really change up your team. So it was really, like, restricted. But there we go. Look at that. 500,000 for one unit. <clears throat> Gosh, I wish I got lucky. I actually saw someone posting today. They got three barns in their first 600. Are you kidding? How can I, how can I go from like 6 6 Amelia in like two rotations of the ReZero Club to just getting absolutely trashed on by barn? But it's always units that you want. You don't get good summons on. But <clears throat> speaking of cool units and 
trash luck. Um, Dokkan, actually. I'm not sure if it's a 6 year on a first. I know they're 6 year. Should be sometime soon, but... Um, they had the Gogeta and... Well, the v Goku and Vegeta. Gogeta from Fusion Reborn. They got a new LR of that, which looks absolutely sick. I haven't seen it, like, fully, but that looks so cool. And I haven't... Se I've seen the card art. I believe they also have a Janemba, which looks so, so cool, but... Um, here we go. Let's see it. Um, I believe this is the stage where we can't use demons, so not really going to be affecting us here, but let's just quickly have a look at barn stats, because it did say something in the rules about, you know, getting extra HP or something, so there we go. Um, ooh, card deletion as well, we love that. Let's quickly have a game into here, but oh, it's so nice to be able to have a 6 6 auto. So, yeah, look at that, oh my god. Let's just quickly throw out this and see what we can do, but it's so, so nice having 6 6 Archangels, but having the time you're 4 6, it's at a point where, like, He's so good of an association for Arthur that I want to use him, but at the same time, he's losing so, so much CC from not having, like, those last two alt levels. It went to the point where, like, I had a 1 6 Sariel, and I just pulled so many of them in this bar, man. Like, I'm super happy I did. Like, he has, he's less built than my Tarmiel is, but it's really nice to be able to have some of those crit units. I mean, <clears throat> less people use him nowadays, but, like, I will be using him for, you know, the Sigurd Showcase and the Blue Lost Fane Showcase and other units like that. So it's definitely not a bad thing to get. Um, I do very much regret summoning on the Archangel Burner on its original release now. I mean, all that value is just gone. And I didn't make videos. I was originally planning to actually be making videos around that time, but stuff happens. I mean, I would also like to get face cam up and running sometime soon, but we'll just have to see him. God damn, I thought that was better to be it. Zaratros, Zaratros just tanked that so hard. Um, yeah, I'd really like to, you know, start getting face game incorporated. I feel like I'm probably going to upgrade the mic more. Like, well, I feel like I'm probably going to upgrade the mic earlier than, you know, getting the face cam because I feel like audio quality is definitely, definitely important and, you know, giving you guys good stuff to watch. But this should be, I mean, I, yeah, he's going to have a revive, okay? <clears throat> Here we go. Probably should use the nameless dance, but that's all right, but... Yeah, no, we'll be upgrading mic. I do, I have a USB mic at the moment, but I'd really, really like to, I've been looking at a couple XLR mics. Not too sure, I haven't really like decided on anything yet, but god damn, it's not just absolutely tanking this. I mean, I can definitely see the difficulty in this. Like, it's almost the same as the Eskinal one. The one we actually got a like copy of in the, uh, the crappy version of Tower Patrols, but I doubt he has another revive mechanic here. 6-6 six, six, Eskinal gonna absolutely just Blast this man. Let's see it. Yeah, 700,000 almost. God damn. There we go, and that just about does it. New Season 5 Tower of Trials is complete. Now, hope you guys enjoyed today's Tower of Trials. Hope you guys are enjoying the rewards as well. Um, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really means the world to me. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.